M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So now that we've got our DAPnet number or username and password, if we go to the map, I'm just going to click the map here, expand it, and now I'm here. So obviously it's a world map. These are all the DAPnet users. Basic, basically a pager system which has been linked for ham radio operators as well as many other items. You can get yourself a pager. Look, if I click myself here, Western Supermare, that's where I live. Click on me and look, I've only listed it for my MMDVM hotspot. So I've just got 0.1 watt as the maximum power. And also my height is very low, um, M0FXB. And I, there's a time slot allowed there as well of 0.48C. But anyway, thought I'd show that, quite interesting. Bye for now. These are all the DAPnet users here. Let's just select one at random. Hello to D, is it DL1FOZ? Let's try and see if we've got anyone across in America or South America. Here it goes. Long Island here. Let's click someone. WA2JNF, hello from the UK. They're all been ass uh, assigned this OF8. So where do you get go to to get your DAPnet number? Just go to Google and put in DAPnet. Then you can go and open a ticket. Opening a ticket really means just asking a, a, for help and a question. Open a ticket. You, the first time you apply, you're just asking for your account. And I'm going to say with an RIC number. RIC number is basically a pager number. Fill out the form. Okay. And if you've got a DMR number, give them that as well. Once you've done that ticket, they work. Then you need to ask for another ticket if you want to transmit. So new DAPnet transmitter, and then fill out that form as well. And in your hotspot, the places that I'm finding where you can enter stuff is go to, if I go to my hotspot that I've already configured, go to configuration, then go to expert. You've got a section here under DAPnet. Here and also if you go back to configuration, scroll down and you can turn on POCSAC here, slide that across, and you've got your here, you've got your POCSAC radio frequency for using your D your radio, probably DMR, that you can enter here. I would say, do you need to enter the one for your pager? If you're gonna use the pager, maybe. I don't know, I actually don't know. But that net authorization key, I know that that's important. So that learning as we go, just thought I'd show you the map and that's it. Bye for now. Seven free, all the best.